after two years of work, uh, we have one of the great artifacts of the space industry here, uh, the shuttle trainer, that was the vehicle that really helped humans learn to live and work in space. Took astronauts from many countries, uh, including Japan, um, helped us to build the International Space Station, one of the great international collaborations ever, um, and now has set the stage for what happens next. Where do, how do we, who haven't been selected as astronauts, get to go to space in the long run? What can we say to young people all over the world about their opportunity? It's very much like what happened in the aviation industry 70 years ago when first a few daredevils flew and then now we all sort of take for granted that we can go. So imagine 70 years from now when our children and grandchildren can routinely take a vacation on the moon or uh, go from here to Tokyo in 45 minutes. And so we're, we're very cognizant that this is a, a major milestone in humans' expansion. Uh, we've taken our first baby steps off the planet, now it's time for all the rest of us to go. One of the major differences uh, on, between the FFT and the, the space shuttles as they currently exist is this forward uh, dash configuration. You'll see there, there are three monitors there and then most of the other instruments are analog instruments. Uh, starting in about 1998, uh, they started upgrading all of the space shuttles to glass cockpits, all digital uh, displays along that forward dash. Uh, that took them until about 2006 to get all of the orbiters upgraded. So by that time, the shuttle program is already uh, starting to, they're starting to think about retiring the shuttles. So for budget purposes, they decided to retain the original uh, dash configuration here on the FFT. And they trained to, to use a lot of the shuttle's camera systems here. So they had cameras that would help them while they were working with payloads in the payload bay uh, that were mounted around the payload bay, as well as helping them uh, line up while they were docking with the space station. And they learned how to adjust camera settings and use those cameras and, and, and look around uh, uh, here on the FFT. Interesting uh, Japanese uh, technology uh, trivia about the, FF the FFT and the space shuttles. Um, the registers at the base of some of the cabin vents are, uh, regis are the same part number from a Toyota Corolla. That's both here on the trainer and on the actual space shuttle. All of the crew had to learn how to use the, the galley. Uh, there was no single person who was the cook. They all had to learn how to do that. But they also had to learn how to take care of the waste when they were finished eating. This was basically to, to teach them to learn and live together. Uh, they practiced and trained as though they were going to fly. Uh, everything that they did in here was very realistic, including the emergency egress training. 